Alright guys, this is Andy back, and right now you see the full adder that we'll be utilizing. You can see that it is four long. Um, that's actually an extra block longer than it can be, but just for ease of understanding, we're going with four blocks long. Alright, so to make this, first we need to do is make our XOR. Um, I just a little worried about doing this because you know, I'm not most good at my memorization skills, but we're gonna be start along. So first thing we need is one, two, three, four, five. It's five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. We'll then take sticky piston and orient it downwards. And fill the entire top of the piston. Now right here we need a spacer. Torch will go there. So now we have redstone there, the torch there. And the torch is only going to light that repeater. This is a rather great design. I found it on a guide. It's called Ultimate Redstone Circuit Guide. If you ever have any questions, I recommend checking there first. So now we have the setup where we have kind of like a star like thing with the repeaters there. Of course, there, rest all the way top. This thing needs to come down. So now we have, yes, that was right, redstone there. And then we have redstone there. That is our XOR gate. How very exciting. Shoot. Give yourself a pat on the back. Oh no. Um, appears that. I am one off. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, sorry. You need to make sure that this piston comes down so that it's like adjacent to that piston right there. So now we have it so that when an extra gate, I forgot to explain this, is when both inputs are different, then the output is on. So you see that there's one there, zero there, so it's on. Um, there's a 1 there and a 0 there, it's still on, but if there's both there, it's off, and when both of them are 0 or false, negative, whatever you have, it's still on. Um, congratulations. 